morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here. Um, a lot of different things going on. I was looking at, and I'll show you where I was at here. Under Warhammer Community. And I didn't have this all set. I was working on it, and then I ran into an issue. And I was trying to figure out why. I couldn't get this done. But this is a Saturday pre-order that they have. And I'm only registering one for some reason here. It takes Twitch so long to get anything done. But I was looking at this pre-order for this Necromunda, the, uh, the Ash Waste, and it's got to be delivered to And then I, I thought, hey, you know, this would be kind of cool to have this thing. So I went over, and I want to be careful here. So I went over and I ordered the, the two items, plus I need another handle. And yet... I don't seem to have a checkout button for some reason, and I'm not sure why. So I think what I'm going to do, your session has timed out. Yeah, we know that. That's because you guys have such a weird timer on the system. Really? Come on. What a system. And I go here to try to check out. And I'm not sure why. But there's no checkout button. So I can't figure out why. Now this is a pre-order. I can't take it to zero. It won't even let me hmm. see, it won't even let me remove it. See, it won't let me remove it or anything now. Oh, it won't remove it now. But I can't order them. What kind of nonsense is that? Hmm. So I can't even get it to open up my account, which I want to be careful of here. Yeah. Oops. 
that out for a minute. Um, why is it not letting me order? Once I stopped ordering, stopped orders to Greece, and I can't get this to be torn out of here. I guess I'm going to have to deal with them. Because I can't seem to get anything. Hmm. See, for some reason, I'm only registering one. I've got... Never mind. Grand Alliance order. Stiglodon. Add to cart. View cart. And it does not give me an option to order. So they must be down or something. But anyways, let's go back. I'll worry about that later. It's in there. So this is what they have. They have the uh, the pre-sale of the Ash Waste. Of all about the Ash Waste Nomads. Uh, the game designers answer our burning questions. These are the items that Saturday pre-order take the gang out. Gate were out. Excuse me. <coughs> oh. And this whole board, I mean, this whole thing now is... If you get the whole board... I'm going to go over here. The whole board, $225. Well, euros, not dollars, sorry. And that's to go outside the UK. The UK is actually cheaper. But what do you get in here? Let's see, I, I have a lot of these paints. There's a ton of paints to go with it. Grimmy white. Hmm. Turn that up a little bit, let's see. Because sometimes I just don't talk that loud. I'm going to up my output gain a little bit like that. Let's keep it around 15. I don't know why it's so low. But this whole piece here is 225 euro. That's like, for US, it's 250. So that's a lot. I don't know why this thing is not registering anything here. Sometimes I have to play around with it here to get it to work. Ranked healthy. Go through all that mess. But anyways, 225 euro, that's a lot. But to get the full game to go with it. So, that's probably a good thing. But some of the others... And if you come down here, we're going to ignore the card for right now. 
the cart issue. I'd like to have them. I mean, even at 37 euro, $40, it's a little more expensive. You can get them in the UK for a lot cheaper. No Man's War Party. Both of these look cool. Let's see, 37 euro. Look at this thing. I love this that it rotates like that. That is so cool. This is going to be a lot of work, though. And it'll probably just sit there along with a bunch of other stuff that I have, too. I've already got so much to do now, it's incredible. These look like they might be kind of cool. Pretty detailed. And I'd worry about what paints I don't have with it later. Necromunda. I wouldn't mind learning a little bit more about it. Oh, now it's showing up. Skunk. No, it's not. So that's interesting. And then what's the other one that they have? This one here. And this one here, th this is so creepy. Th these are like, I don't even know what to call these things. They're like ticks or something. These would just be fun to me, just having one of these around and halfway decently painted. And then put them up on the counter or something. They'd probably freak everybody out. Don't put the little writer on Put the, yeah, yeah, leave the little writer on the back. <laughs> put the little writer on the back and put it on the kitchen, kitchen sink or something. I guarantee it'll probably get tossed across the room. <laughs> They're creepy little bugs. Ugh. Those are terrible. I mean, they're, they're awesome. Great sculpt and everything on it, but... Ugh, they're just... It's like a freaking nightmare. Hmm. But yeah, that'd be kind of fun with those. I'll figure out what the issue is with the other one. And then you got these, too. You got these bikes. These look really cool, too. If you like stuff like that. I, I was debating on whether I wanted those. These might be kind of fun to get too. And these are on pre-order right now. So you won't see these for a while. Like it showed on delivery date in the UK. Uh, the first one when I had the UK account brought up. And it was showing it uh, the 7th July. So the other one is January, February, March, April, May. So it'd be a month before I would even see it on pre-order. But these could be interesting too. Which one am I on? Am I on my UK account? I might add that one in there. It's working there. One thirty three. Holy crud. Oh, that's because I added the source warrior in there. But see, I can't get this. Okay. Oh, that one removed. No, see, they're not removing either. So I don't know what the deal is on the page. 
but it does say 5-7, so it's like, oh, maybe it's not available for order until 5, but see, it's not deleting the other stuff either, so I don't know what the deal is with it here, I'll have to check it out later, maybe the site's down or something, who knows, it's hard to tell what the deal is with it. But that's what's going on there. Those, these are. I really think I'd like these too. These would be really cool. There's two bikes in here. You can't survive outside the hives without some wheels and get you around on the wasteland. Dum 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 dum. Then you have the cards and everything. I wouldn't order the cards. Blue from Forge World. What else do we have here? Ash Wade's upgrades. You get upgrades too. I wouldn't worry about upgrades. So that's interesting. Yeah, there, there's almost 200 euro right there. You got everything separate. So 225. I'll get you the whole thing. What did they have to say about it? Four things we don't know about Ash Wind. Ash Waste Nomads. I'm gonna blow this up a little bit here because I can't see it. Uh, are available to pre order from sat Saturday as part of our biggest Necromander release since the game was rebooted in 2017. We're heading out. Of the underhive to enjoy. Oh, there's a video. Let's see what they have to say. The game designer. Hi, Renegade. I'm trying to. I, I seem to be having an issue, though. I'll show you in a minute. I bet. That's what I was thinking too. Mad Max. That's what I was thinking too. This is seven minutes long. I'll show you what's going on. And I can't figure out what the issue is. Um, I've got two of them ordered. Let's see, where am I here? If I go back over here. See, I have it here, 133. I'm not going to spend that much because I got the, the three. And I'll show you the three that I ordered. But I go to checkout, and there's no checkout button. And I can't remove anything because I added, I threw the Saurus Warrior in there. Did you ever try making bits out of green stuff? No. I have some green stuff, but I haven't tried making any bits yet. Uh, I got about six or seven Chaos Pendants. Cool. But as you see here, I get in here, there's no checkout button. And look at the price. The price is almost uh, 37 euro to go to where I am and making a green stuff model impression. And in the UK, it's like 25, I think it was. So it's almost like a $10, 10 euro difference. But I get in here, and I, I threw in because I wanted another handle. And then I fill in the mold to make green stuff, chaos pendants. Yeah, I was thinking of doing that with some parts, too. 
You're getting this? I, I wanted to, but there's, there's no checkout button. I can't seem to get a checkout button. That's a lot. Well, I'm not going to get all this. All I wanted was the handle when I was adding stuff in. But you see, I go over here and said that guy remove. Uh, I like to get the bugs, but I hit remove, and they don't remove. So I'm thinking there's something wrong with the page. The reason there's so much in here is because I was trying to figure out what the issue was that I had no checkout button. But I can't get anything removed. Because I was debating which one. These are the three models that are available. And I threw this in here as a test. I could add stuff, but I can't. I did hit refresh. I've refreshed it several times. And it's just, I've closed out, I've opened. Oh, you know, the only thing I could think of, and I'm not going to test it now, because uh, may maybe it's an issue with Firefox. Maybe there's an issue with Firefox. No, I want to add a third one. I have two. I was thinking of adding a third, maybe a fourth one. That way I can have, because that way I can have three or four different models going. I could set one to the side, work on another one. I got two. Yeah, I have two. I got one of the old. I'd like to find another one like this. Oh, you can't see it. I have to turn the, the browser off. I want to get another one. Pardon the keyboard. I wanted to get another one like this with the little thing on there so I could put the the handle on there. And I don't know why this camera is all of a sudden not in angle. What the hell? That way there if I want to I could have I could do a double attachment if I have to. But but I only have two, and I'd like to have a third, possibly a fourth one. So, but that's why I was looking at, but I, for some reason, I cannot, and I'm going to try something here. <laughs> Bear with me a moment. I hate Chrome. I really do. I hate Chrome almost as much as I hate Microsoft or Internet Explorer. It's a popularity thing, is what it is. The session is timed out. Okay. Let's see what this does. Okay, accept cookies. I'm working on Chrome at the moment and I can't see you, so. I said the UK. Sign in. I know I have trouble with my bank that way, too. Rest of EU. I gotta bring the keyboard up here. Bear with me a moment. I can't see anything you're doing, so if I move this over, I would. Okay. See if this will let me log in here. Bring up my card. Maybe that's it. Because I know Firefox is is it's already saying that it's the best browser. No, I don't want you saving nothing. 
Okay, four items in cart. Now this is showing something totally different in my cart. That's really weird. This is showing something totally different in my cart. Okay, you have nothing in your cart. Yeah, we know that. So now if I go over here, I'm going to apologize, you can't see what I'm doing. Yes. Transfer over. I don't know which one I want, though. I was thinking, I was thinking with the, with the little bug ones, get the little bug ones, put them together, and put one up on the, on the kitchen sink or something. They probably get smashed. Thirty seven year on. I think in yours it's twenty five for the ash waste. Let me. Uh, I could probably bring that up. No. Well, yeah, I got a lot to still work on. I think this will be all right. Is there the Firefox tour? Where is it? Ragnar's pets. No, I don't have those. But I'm not going to get that right now. So here we have pre order. And it's not populating. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know why. I've already got that down. Not perfect, but I got it down pretty good. Delivering to EU. Why is this not populating? Get started with Necromunder. Try today. Find out more. I'm not buying that whole thing. That ain't happening. Okay, hold on. The, this Now you have to showcase it exactly. Yeah, but I still got work to do on it. Find out more. All this goddamn accept cookies crap. Ash waste. Ash waste nomads. Okay, this is not helping me at all. Yeah, I have to work on Ragnar. I can't figure out why this is being so yucky. Ash Waste Nomads. Okay, there's that one right there. They're not showing the bikes at all, though. Well, yeah, I know they're brand new, but it says you should be able to pre-order. So here, if I go... Yeah, it's not in. That one's not in here. Page one on one, and it's not showing the, the Orlick bikes. But see, if I was to go like this, and this is in Chrome, okay, that one registered. There's the checkout. Okay, there it is. Now I have the checkout button. So if I was to go. Say the Warhammer community.
I'm thinking I'd like to get that one. Because that's the one that reminds me of Mad Max. This is the one that reminds me of Mad Max. And I think these would be kind of cool to put together. Okay, that one worked. And painting, I want another. I want to get another handle. Maybe it's a Firefox thing. And I don't know if I'll have all the paints or not. Now let's go to checkout. 37 and 9. There's a checkout button. So why is it not, or am I just, yeah, it's just not here. So, and this is what's going to kill Firefox. Firefox is my favorite browser. And this is going to kill Firefox because nobody's programming for it. Google and Internet Explorer. See, I don't approve because you don't have the whole army. I don't have that kind of money to spend. I just wanted to get one in a handle and then go from there. Yeah, that's all. And these are all pre-order. Did it go in there? What else do I have in here? Four things to know about. I don't need any of that. I hate the thought of having to use Chrome. I really do. Chrome is so un... It's very... Yeah, I know it is. It's very strange. You got that. And I could go in... Son of a monkey muffins. You know, I almost could. Because I was thinking about it earlier. Yeah, I know, it is very strange. But I got the bugs. Unless you want to build Orlock and Nomad game. I just want I just want to be able to paint this stuff. But I don't wanna I can't spend a lot of money. See, it's working fine here. Everything's working fine. God, I hope they ain't forcing me to use goddamn chrome. Yeah. I'm going to order the bikes. I want to order. Whoops. Oh, shit. Didn't think of that. Son of a bitch. God damn. They timed out on me again. This thing is so ridiculous. They time out so quickly. You hesitate for one second and... Okay, orders made. So I got the bikes. And they should be here January, February, March, April. May? According to this, it should go through on the 7th. I can't show it to you because it's got my information in here. It flashed up there for a second, but I got it down. And I'll probably go in and delete that out anyways. Just to be on the safe side. So I ordered the bikes. Anyways. So, we've got that. It looks like they're forcing, they're programming for Chrome and Internet Explorer, and Firefox is getting the raw. I was reading, uh, watching a video the other day about how Firefox is the best, the fastest, and the best browser, but because nobody will program for it, because everybody's programming for Internet Explorer and Chrome, that it's getting left behind. 
So, which is really sad because Chrome is, just, you know, Internet Explorer and Chrome are the same thing. You know, I, I mean, same thing as, um, how do I want to explain it? Where they, they, they gather information. They gather your information and use it. You know, and that's proven over and over again. I wish I could find an article on it. But I saw something else the other day, too. The cookies. And no, apparently it's not just cookies, either. I, I'd like to find the article again on why Firefox is going down. And it's their own fault, really. It's their own fault that it's going down because they're not keeping up with the Joneses, I guess. Yeah. But I think only a predator or terror would have that much to hide. I just don't want people... It's not so much hiding. It's just that I don't want people looking at my, uh, uh, my, my stuff. I don't need them to be collecting information on me. I don't want it. It's none of their damn business. Check this out. I was talking with Ann the other day. The price went back. I know. But I'm going to try to avoid it as much as I can. I mean, I have Chrome on this machine. Sorry, I popped a strawberry in. Um... And, but I just, I'm just not into that. I don't think they should be collecting our information. I don't want to be tracked by them. I don't want to be hit with, with them trying to shove things down my throat that I don't want to buy. You know. But check this out. This is something Ann was telling me about because I was talking to her about um, the history. I wanted to, you know, if she had any information on, you know, we we're talking about the American style. And I need to go back at the Bob because she threw so many names up there. But uh, she said, go to Putty and Paint, and you see a lot of these artists, of you know, top artists that paint miniatures and stuff. And I was looking at some of these. And here's what's that's interesting. You go over here to Artists, and you go, everyone, top artist. Let's see if he's still up there. Look at the number one artist up here. He's from Ukraine. Look at his work. I think I've seen this guy somewhere before. And of course, what's his stuff all into? You know, war. And I just don't think Chrome is all that fast. It's not as fast as they try to claim it is. Why is that showing outside the frame? Look at this piece. I mean, imagine the work this guy puts into this. It's amazing. And he looks like he's, what, maybe late 30s, maybe early 40s at the, at the most. Let's see if it gives a bio or anything on him. Facebook, Instagram. I 
No, it's not going to give us much. But I look at him, and he's probably, I mean, he's pretty healthy, too. This guy looks like he goes to the gym every day. Wouldn't be surprised if he's an ex-soldier or something of some kind. This piece looks interesting, too. Look at this. Oh, is my internet getting flaky on me again? Look at this piece. Holy macaroni. I like to see how big this piece actually is. Because I bet you it's not tiny. I bet you it's a bus. There's nothing to compare it to. I bet you it's a bus. Which means these guys, the, the top artists, they don't work on tiny little things. They work on this bigger stuff. I wonder if he sculpted this himself, too. I don't think he got this from anybody. God, freaking amazing. I can't see. High to all new commission work finished. One, I think it says one tenth. Gray letters on a white background. People are so dumb. Oh, he's got a Patreon too. Got a Patreon page. He wouldn't have. And then there's some other ones in here. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So, anyways. But that's what they have there. This work is just, look at this. This piece is just so amazing to me. I don't think in a million years I could ever be this good. I'm still trying to get sinking black lining, black lighting down. So, anyways, I've got the head done. Let's go to the Space Wolf now. I've got the head piece done. Um, I put the eyes in. I'm looking at it a second time. My black lining is a little shaky. I do have a couple spots that I probably need to add. A little blue too. But I almost guarantee if I had a bigger I do have a big bus too that I purchased. Um Rust Gray. I just haven't glued it together yet. And it's not for me, you know, it's just mostly skin more than anything else. But I'm just wondering if maybe, you know, I, I have these, and I was kind of wondering if maybe I'd be more into the bus. Because they're bigger pieces to work with, but i got to get the skill level down more. I don't have it as well as I probably should have. Or that I would like, I guess, is a better word of putting it, a better way of putting it. Did I clean my brush the other day? Yeah, I think I did. I don't know why I just put this cover from the thing here. Oh, I'm going to throw a little music up in the background, too. So I think having the music keeps me motivated. Uh, energy level. There we go. I was playing a little Civilization VI last night. What a rat that was. I tried to put it on stream and everything, and it was just... Uh, 
for the auto guns, would you call it a drum mag or a round mag, box mag? The auto guns for the the bikes? I'd have to see what they were. For 40k. Um... I'm not really sure. I'd have to see it again. You, you ought to know. I, I can't remember what happened five minutes ago. So you'd have to show me again. Oh, a little bit of spot right here. I wouldn't mind being as good as that guy. But he's probably got a master's degree in art. And I didn't put my glove on. Shit. It's not that hard to clean the paint off my hand. I'd like to see that guy, that Ukrainian guy, work. I think that'd be kind of cool. I should look on YouTube and see if he's on there at all. He's probably not. He probably doesn't do anything like that. I was also thinking last night I should probably do my highlights while this is out too. Yeah, hold on a second. And it's round. I got this guy. Let me see what you got. Oh, this guy here? I'd have to see the video. I'd call that. Peachy. Um, that would be a round. That wouldn't be a box. That would be a round. Round mag, yeah. I'd call that a round mag. I'd say drum. Because I bet you the rounds are circular in there.
they're they're in there. I would say that they're it's circular. So the rounds gonna be hard to explain. I mean, each round. I don't know if you could see what I'm doing here. Each round, you would have a round here, and it'd be in like a a circular, and it would turn. I call it a, a, a normal, normal or stray. Yeah, they're stacked in a circle. Yeah. This one would be different. This looks like it's a regular straight mag. Yeah, this is a straight mag because here's a picture of the magazine itself. That wouldn't be round. A round mag would be more, yeah, they're stacked in a circle. Yeah, but they'd be, well, no. I, I'll show you what, what I'm talking about here. Hold on. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like this one here. I don't know if it'll show up. Oops. What the hell? More like this here. You see how the drum is on here? And the rounds are inside here. There would be a straight, this would be a round mag, like on this Tommy gun up here. This is more what I would think it would be. So it would be a round drum. Where the other one that you're looking at, that's more of a straight drum. You just stack one round on top of the other. I mean, I'm not a gun expert or anything, so... But that's the way I would look at it. Why is my glass with a fuck off over here? I gotta bring up something here. I think there was something on the side of his head here. I mean, I should just take them off and put them on there, and then I'll worry about the details later. That's what I should do. Don't get into too much right now. Get it together and then put the fine touches on later. Um, I got to go to the bathroom again. I've had my issue going on there. Uh, give me a couple minutes. I need to run to the bathroom. And I'll be right back, okay?
All right, sorry about that. Well, you got to go, you got to go. Then I have to stop and talk to the other one. She's still up. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about this. I definitely want to put, I think, putting gloves on helps keeping it from... I dropped a little varnish on it last night, too. And my goal... Well, I want to get caught up on everything as far as what pieces I have and what I put together. So get caught up on that. I got a bunch of space wolves to work on. I got ice pelt to work on. I got Ragnar to work on. I got a bunch of, uh, I'll now have that bite thing to work on. Now, can I get this off of here? Yep, there she is. And I should put glove on the other side too. I started to take one out. I think it's more the oils that get in that wipes the paint off. I'll tell you, this music does make me motivated to want to work. I would sometimes listen to this while I was at work, just to keep things going. I got some other arms that I had put together. So I've got to make sure that I have the bottom here. the glue to okay that should be good let's get him over here get a zero plastic glue out His head's down a little too much, ain't it? Fit in there, you bugger butt. There we go. He doesn't want to fit in there. I think that looks straight. Yeah, that looks okay. And we'll put him off to the side while that dries in there, like that. Now, let's close the glue back up. We've got to work on the next part. And I think all I have left are the shoulder pads. Let's see what it says.
Okay. What's funny is they already have the shoulder pads on them. Their instructions are so terrible. They really are. Okay. I have... We did C1. So I've got to mark that. I did one head of C1. And I think most of them would be done that way. So I'll do that ten times. So I have one. And then 69... B6 Okay, there's supposed to be a B6 Oh, I see, okay Should I go the studs? They have one that's a studs in here C77 C77 What's 72? Charlie 72. There's the one with the studs. Which should I really go for? There's nothing on here with a wolf's tail or a wolf claw. Which would look cooler? I'd go with 70. There's two of those. Now I do have some upgrade packs too. B6. Where's the B6s? And I know there should be... Could be part of the upgrade pack too. I don't see anything on any of these sprues that have the head, the wolf's head on the side. So I'm thinking it might be one of these. Yeah, there's B6s right there. Okay, these are upgrades. Perfect. So that would be a shield on one side. I can't have this glove on the right hand. It's driving me nuts. can't hold it. And I think this is just more of, if I get these off, I sand it down a little bit. Get the black primer on there without it being on the arm so I don't spread it accidentally spread it somewhere else.
put that over here. We're going to come to, I'm not quite sure which one here. Which one does he have? Ah, the damn thing timed out again. Frack. Okay. Combat patrol. I'm kind of modeling this guy here. Not that one. Not that. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe this one here. And he's just got a blank. I don't see how they have 10 of those. I don't see 10. I see 10 of these, but I don't see 10 of the one with the wolf on it. Um, according to the schematics here, it says B6, which has the wolf on the side, and that would be this one here, but if I have 10 models, and I'm looking at the others, and then it has all these others here, a blank, a kind of a nameplate, a little something coming out, studs. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's fourteen of those, but I don't see ten on the. There might be. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm short one. There'd be one short. They'd be one short. So I must have something somewhere else. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, I got more. Okay, I've got more. I've got like 18 of these things. Okay, because I got two racks of them. Okay, cool. And there's another one there. Why is this one? This one's got a diamond on the back. Oh, that one's got a little. Cool. So I like this one here with the with the ponytail on top too. I like to figure out where I could put that. I like to get this axe in. I got to figure out where who would take care of that axe. I want to make sure I get that. There's an axe in here, and there's another one in here too that I'd really like to get in. This here, this piece that I know you probably can't see it, but it's got the long, like the bullets spiraling out of it. I think it's a a claw for climbing or something. I'll look through the book and see where they are. There's another cool one, too, that I wouldn't mind putting in. It's got the, the spike for drilling into the wall. I'll have to see where that is in the um, strawberry time.
What's for the reverse? The, the spike thing? Okay. I'll find it. I'll look for it. I'll look for it. Because these are the intercessors I'm working on right now. And I'm just trying to follow what's in the, the thing there. The grappling hook. Thank you. I couldn't think of what the name of it was. Okay. And I'll probably find it when I get there. I might try to do one of those. Oh, that's for the other one. Yeah, okay. I like to get those in there. I think it'd be kind of cool. That's the other one that I have. I don't. It's in the cabinet right now. up and I missed it put that in there for a moment It's Sunday morning, everybody's walking around trying to do whatever. This is supposed to be motivational music. I need to get that mic adjusted again. But anyways, let's get my black primer here. Give that a good shake. And I'm just going to prime these. And then I'll glue them on. Let's see how we're doing over here. Nope, it's not gluing. Son of a bitch. I think it's going to take... I don't think there's enough glue in there. Because it's loose. loose. But it's in there about five minutes. It should be fairly decent and it shouldn't be that loose.
Or maybe there is more paint in there than I thought. Maybe I need to get in there and clean a little more paint out of it. Let's try it now. I got a little too much on here, too. See if that goes in better. That could take a good, what is it, 10, 15 minutes to seal up, but after about five minutes, it should be a little more solid than what that was. What the heck is that? Did I spill some over? I don't want that getting in there. That was weird. You know, I'm not in the mood for this right now. I'm in the mood for... I'm in the mood... I think I'll go with that one. That one is kind of blacky dacky 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 type of deal. Only need probably two. Do I have the smaller one? No, that is the smaller one, I think. No, it's over there. This is my smaller that I use for priming this one here. And then we'll catch this corner here. I've been watching Jericho again. 
I get back around to these series Spartacus, MASH, Jericho, Terra Nova. I get back to that stuff every few months. Arrow, The Flash. The Legends of Tomorrow. The first couple seasons, The Legends of Tomorrow. They were pretty good, but they've been pretty lousy lately. The whole, whole cast has changed. Even the girl that was playing Sarah is not even in there anymore. She must have moved on. And the girl that the replaced her, I think, is just a terrible actress. She's not very good. I know it was hard in Spartacus when we had to change characters for Spartacus. And a lot of people were upset by it, but there's nothing you could do about that. It wasn't as if they didn't want him there anymore. He died of cancer. You know, that's why they did the uh, in-between. Yeah, that was unfortunate. It really was. But the guy that they got replaced him, I thought did a wonderful job. A lot of people were just, I'm not going like, to, it's like my, my nephew. I'm not going to watch it this time because it's not to say, you know, get, you got to give the guy a chance. It's like a lot of people with ACDC, when the original singer from ACDC died, you know, it wasn't like he's going in, he was going in to replace the original singer. There, there was nothing that they could do, you know. And I think he did a hell of a job. I think he's doing, been doing really good. You know? When you're stepping in because of something like that, I don't think you should be that critical of him. Now, someone like, like the one group that I like, I don't know if you know him, they're called Queen's Reich. Um, Jeff Tate was the original singer. Jeff Tate is just a fabulous singer. He's got a range on him. I think he's got like five different octaves or something like that that he can reach from low to high. And he got into an argument with the band members over uh, merchandise. And they brought this other guy in. This other guy can hit the notes, but he just doesn't have the feeling that Jeff has. You know, so I can never, I, I can never watch Queen's Reich again. Not with the new sing, the singer. Okay, I got a little spot down here that I need to catch. Yeah, that was kind of sad. But the guy, I mean, they at least got somebody that was fairly decent to replace him. More or less looked like him. You know, that looked like Spartacus. It wasn't as if they come in with someone that didn't even look like him. So they tried to stick pretty true to it. I like the whole series. The whole series is cool. The uh, second one, the first one, when it first started out, I was like, yeah, this is going to be kind of cheesy. Because you see the first one, it was fake backgrounds and stuff like that. And then it started getting better. And then when they did the uh, Gods of the Arena, where they had uh, Gannicus was introduced. And that one was really good. And then the second one, where he replaced it with their new replacement, and I don't think it had anything to do with the replacement, but that one was probably third on the list of the series. With, I'd say God to the Arena was probably listed number one, but the very last one, yeah. The Gannicus was, yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, that was probably the best one, but the, the third the third series, uh, the third series was called, um, not Vengeance, Doomed to Die or something like that, I forget what it was, 
I forget what the name of it was. Uh, the Living Dead or something like that. I forget what it was now. Let me look. Yeah. What was the other one? Oh, War of the Damned. That one was really good. And the battle on the very last series, on the very last episode. Oh my god, that's an epic battle to me. It is downright epic. That was such a good battle. But the second one where they caught on Mount Vesuvius. That that was... Oh, I heard they might be doing a sequel to Russell Crowe's Gladiator. Oh god. Just... I kind of cringe a little bit when I hear stuff like that. I know it. And that's my point. No original ideas anymore. I thought Gladiator was great. I love Gladiator. It's like, what was the one? Indep was it Independence Day? Independence Day? The original with Will Smith in there? Great movie. Loved every moment of it. And then they turned around and they did the second one on Independence Day. And I watched that movie and I thought it was just blah. I wouldn't watch that again to save my life. If that was the only movie in the world that I could ever watch, I'd probably just curl up in a corner somewhere. That movie was terrible. Ghostbusters. I like Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters was pretty good. Ghostbusters 2. Uh, There's, yeah, I don't know what they're doing with it. Uh, there's a guy that I know of. His name is, um, I don't want to say Jacobo, because that's not his name. What's his name? Um, yeah, and th this guy, he is just totally, um, what's his name? Uh, Young Rappa. He's got a YouTube channel, and he talks about that. Of what they're doing to the comics, and they're just, uh, they're just, they're ripping the comics up. He says they're garbage what they're doing. Instead of creating their own new characters, you know, they're they're turning others. I don't even want to get into it. You know. I haven't followed any, but he's been talking to it seems like they made everyone superhero tran transform. Yeah, it's it's yeah. They're they're completely destroying it. They pretty much shut Disney down, though. I got the, the stuff with Disney pretty much shut down, I guess. Yeah. All the same thing. Yeah, you have to watch. If you get a chance, I think his name is Young Rappa. Um, he talks about all the disaster that they're doing in the comic books and how they're dest and he, he comes right out he'll tell them straight out they're destroying them you know they're trying to, to push this stuff down everybody's throat but they're, it's, it's going to come back to haunt them it's going to come back to haunt them because I think people are just fed up with it Okay, that's going to go on there nicely. Now, let's get... Let's get these shoulder pads on. I've got to get some... Uh, yeah. They were talking while well, they made made fortunes of being a family friendly reputation and all these alternative lifestyle people will change their minds when they realize they need uh, yeah
and not to get too much into it, aren't they proving now that even with all this, once they, they these kids that are going through this right now, that they're finding out later on in life, these kids are saying they wish they had never done it. And now they're upset. I think I heard something about that. I mean, what's the effect of this thing going to be years down the line? Okay, I got to make sure I get this right. The wolf is on his left? Nope, not that one. Put that over here. So this is on his, his left, like that, okay, we're good with that. I mean, it's probably not good to say, but I, I, I feel the same way about what they're doing with this, the same way that they, they can do with religion. They're trying to shove it down your throat. I don't like stuff like that. I can accept somebody who's religious. I can accept somebody who's... But I can't accept something being shoved down my throat. You have to accept it. No, I don't have to accept it. And that's what irks me with it. We're going to give that a moment to stick. Give that about five minutes. What time is it? 42. I'll give that about two, three minutes there. And then we'll work on the other side. I got a lot. I could see a lot of mistakes in here. But I got to get in and fix up. My lines still are not straight. But I've accomplished what I wanted. Areas that are going to be hard to reach with the brush, I got them. Because see, I got pieces sticking out there. A blue that needs to be done. I'm going to put him over there for about two, three minutes. Let's see what we got going on with this guy here. I still messed up the great the, the base on this. I think the skin came out fairly decent. I could pop it up just a little bit more. But I gotta get a picture of him. But I'd have to take the camera down and I got the I got the phone tied up. So I'm not gonna go through all that. Let's see, what else do we have? What else do we have? I was working on, so that's why I need another handle. Well, I got one anyways, I got this. I could put this out here. 
I could work on another intercessor. What else do I have? Do I have, I have this one here. So I keep jumping around on shit. That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. Looks better when I get back to it. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. So this is why I want two or three hand. This is why I want at least three handles, possibly four. Because while I'm waiting for that to dry with paint and stuff, I can come pick up another one and work on it. I want... Oh, I know what I was going to do. Then I put too much stuff on them, too. So it's funny, he doesn't even have the sheath on, and I do. Okay, does it have my colors? Tan skin, Space Wolf, Imperial Fist armor, brown, parchment, gold, gunmetal. Okay. So it looks to me like I have to refresh the page again. I just hate the thought of having to move over to Chrome to get things to start working right. I got way too much stuff on them here. Look at the back, and I got it all cluttered up in one side. But that's okay. Oh, I know what I was looking at. Okay, the gun is black. So I definitely need to get in there with the black and touch that up. The sword is gun metal. Alright, let's so let's do black. I actually like having this plate in here. I'm going to put this in where I need it now. Okay, I've got my black available. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to clean some of this out. So I've got fresh holes. To work from. Got to have a fresh hole. I'm going to have to get to the store next couple days, too. I've got a whole bottle of isopropyl alcohol, but I'm going to need another one. As I break open another one, I need to uh, replace it. I'm getting a little low there. 
Where's my Windex? I need to wash my lens down too while I'm waiting on that. Oh. Where's my lens towel? It's amazing how well I can see when I'm sitting farther back, but I keep wanting to get up close to it. Okay, what we're we gonna do? I was gonna oh, I was gonna clean that out, clean this out. The youngest one is doing a 24 hour. I don't know why. Oops. I need to get these in there and get these, get this towel washed. I got like three of these things. face cloths. Okay, so let's do a little bit of black here on the gun. that one. My number two doesn't have, it doesn't matter. I think I ordered some more brushes. This is all yucky looking. I should have, I didn't clean out the water either. I had to kind of do that when nobody's looking. Oh crap. I got blue paint in here. Shish kebab. Shish kebab. I got some blue paint on it. Shish kebabs.
Is that what you're eating? What do you mean eating? I'm not eating anything. Oh, I. <laughs> what are you gonna learn that I'm I'm certified crazy? You haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> Things just pop in my head. Shish kebab would be nice though. I do have uh, my strawberries and bananas over here, but I'm only 200 pounds ahead somehow. <laughs> I wish I was only 200 pounds. Oh, I look what I missed. I missed fingers over here. That's all right. I can get to those. I gotta get in here. Oh, okay. Oh, 200 points. Shit. My hand moved. It's a grand, yeah. Welcome to the grand illusion. Come on in and see what's happening. Pay the price, get your tickets for the show. Oh, I've got to put that one. I've got to get that one, too. I don't have any sticks. Okay, that's good there. I didn't need much black. Is it black on the, the grenades too? Yeah, they kind of are. I can't see them real close. Yeah, I'm gonna call the grenades black too, with a silver trim.
Are you playing anybody right now? Is that going to be... Yeah, it is. Okay. I tell you, I'm definitely feeling much more comfortable too. I don't know if I could reach in there. I do need to get in there though.
I can come back and fix that up later. Is the tail black too, the wolf's talon? Yeah, the top of it is. Let's get that one in here. I got a little bit in there too. I see another one that I could do. Where did I just see it? It was right in here. out in a minute. There's a little bit right in here too. I think. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
good. How about the boots? Oh, they're blue. Is there anything else that could be missing? Maybe a little more in there, I think. But I can come back out and fix that. That's not a problem. Uh, you didn't tell me who that was. Yeah. Uh, somebody just followed, but I don't know who, because it's not showing up in chat. So I apologize. I don't know why it's not showing up. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, Hocus Perkins. Oh, Curly Locks followed. Hi. Curly Locks, I know who that is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you guys are still hanging around there. Uh, it was me. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, this thing was... I was like, I heard it. Can I play with madness? And cheers, bud. Hey! What's going on, guy? I'm just getting along here. I've got uh, several things going on. The cup, this is a Primaris Reaver that I'm working on. I'm trying to get all the base colors down. And here is my, I messed up the, the, the base. I don't know if you could see this or not. This is my Troll Slayer. And these will all be up on Instagram. I messed up the base, I was trying to do, I was following this one guy and I was trying to do, uh, uh, just got off work saying hi, cool. Are you getting, are you gonna go call it tonight or are you gonna go on stream or but there's my troll slayer. I don't know, I could probably zoom that in just a little bit there. Still looks super rad. Thanks. There we go. But that's from the uh, the dwarf team. Blood Bowl. And then I'm working on this one here. I just put the uh, the shoulder pad on the one side. See if I can get him in here. My camera's at a weird angle. I'm trying to get him up here. And I was waiting for the shoulder pad to dry. So I... Um, was working on that reaver. See if I can get him in. I got the camera zoomed in here. This is a Space Wolf Intercessor. I got it black line. I did mo uh, no stream enjoying some medicine. Ha ha! Looks good. Thank you. Uh, I got some more black lining to do on here, but I wanted to. I did sub assembly on this. Where the arms were separate and, the, and separate, and the head was separate, so I just went in. I don't have to try to get in underneath it. One shoulder pad is very cool, very bad mess. Yeah, but I got the other one here too. I'm gonna glue that on here in just a minute. I was just kind of working on that. I did make an order today. Um, in 40k, they have, and I'll show you what I ordered. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll bring it up here in just a minute. It should be here in about a month because it's a pre-order. But I'll show you some of this stuff here. This is really cool. I was thinking about getting all of it, but I don't have that much money. Uh, give me a second here. There you go. 
This is from what's called Necromunda. Pre-orders are fun. Future gifts. Exactly. But this is what I was looking at here. And there's three models here. So this is the uh, Nomad's War Party. It's from Necromunda. It's a, this here, I was thinking about ordering these. Now, think of this for a moment. Okay? These look like little bugs. I was thinking of ordering this set. Get them all painted up and everything. And then put one on the kitchen sink. <laughs> Just to hear the screaming. <laughs> ah! Those are bitching. But this is what I bought. These are what I bought. Because of the Mad Max thing. I thought it would be kind of... I thought it would be kind of rad to do something Mad Max type of thing. And do some vehicles again. But that's what I ordered. It's supposed to be going out here in the next... Uh, Pre-orders are coming up. They're supposed to be coming out super rad. I know. I hope I do justice to it. So. And when, of course, when I get that, I'll break off from doing my Space Wolves and my Blood Bowl and everything else and start working on one of those. That's going to be a lot of sub-assembly on this one. Uh, oh, my God. The bugs are on. I know they are, aren't they? Those look so cool. Let's see if they have a, look over here for a second, see if they have a, a turnaround here. Sometimes they have 360, check this out, check out the 360 on it. And I could turn that around. Yeah, see? But I didn't order those. I mean, if I had, I was thinking of ordering all three of them, but that comes to like 150 euro. That'd be like 175 dollars, and uh, even cooler 360. It is, isn't it? I love the 360. Let's see what else I got? Oh, here's another one. This one's going to be even cooler. Don't really jump up there, do they? Look at that. But I decided, no. I'll go with the other one. So I went with the other one. And I ordered that. So I've got the bikes coming. It'll be kind of different. But I got to photograph the, the wool, the, uh, the dwarf, the troll slayer work on this. In fact, I'm going to stick this on here right now. Because that pad should be on there fairly tight. It's a little bit loose. You're getting the train. Are you getting the train? Getting the, the train. I'm getting the bikes. My goal is I try to buy, there's a train coming soon, no, a container hauler and wagon, so I didn't see that, but I'm going to be pretty satisfied with the, uh, um, with the bikes, I think they'll be cool, let me get some of this on here. With this plastic glue, sometimes it takes, in the previews, the images are out. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I keep forgetting. Sorry. There we go. There we go. It's the Cargo 8 with 8 wheels. I didn't see that one. I'll have to look at it. Let me get uh, get this other shoulder pad on here. Doop, 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 doop. Ah. I 
okay that looks pretty good right there now I'll just let that sit I think the head is still a little loose no he's getting better it takes this plastic glue sometimes 15 15 to 20 minutes to go sometimes 24 hours to solid up nice but this looks kind of sloppy right now but it'll be a, it'll all it's like someone tells me all the time just have to go in there do what we tell you to do and trust the process so that's what I try to do I try to trust the process that I'll get it but I was working on this guy here uh, I was trying to tuck in that uh, I need to do combat patrol space wolf okay I got some brown what was my brown in here I might get this oh I didn't see it hold on a second hold on a second revealed I didn't even see that oh my god this will probably come out next week won't it that looks friggin awesome here let me let me see if that's available so everybody can see it there look at this that does look awesome see you could you could you could spend so much money on this stuff Mad Max exactly oh you got the cargo bay now does the cargo come separate or do they come to ah oh, look at this photo Look at this photo. This is like awesome. What a diorama this would make. Exactly what they have in here. Set it all up with the little bugs and everything. Oh, that would be so cool. No, I haven't. I'm going to have to go back and, you know, <laughs> it got me going. We got me going on Mad Max today. I'm going to have to go back and watch some Mad Max later on. They're the same boxes. Oh, okay. Like this one here. So you have two different versions. I wonder if they, if the boxes, if the trailers would be separate. You would have to buy them separate because I think it'd be cool to have all, both boxes to go along with the, the, the whole thing there. See, Necromunda Ash Waste is on its way. And we all assume... I, the, the word is... You can buy stacks of them. Okay. I got about six of those containers. This definitely looks cool. Be simple. Be kind of simple to paint, too, wouldn't it? Well, excuse me. Sorry. It'd be simple to paint, too. Because it'd just be a matter of just putting like maybe a mess bin red on the panel and then black line them. You know, get some nice black wa ink wash. The black ink and ink that in. What's this one here? Oh, all the containers. Okay. Oh, wow. 35 euro. That's not bad. My concern is the crew options. Yeah. God, they're really going to town on this ash waste thing, aren't they? I don't see why uh, why you couldn't. I mean, it could be a captured piece that you could put in there. You know, they just captured it and they're trying to haul it back to the uh, so yeah, a supply depot scene with a crane and a hauler. Yeah, but you know what would also be cool with it too. I mean, you could take one of the others from that, and it could be like a captured piece, and you're trying try to haul it back to your base. That'd be cool too. Um, what was I just doing here? I was looking for. 
I gotta do some browns. The brown, the brown, the brown, the brown, the brown. Let me see what I need for brown. I think it starts out with a Rhinox hide. The brown. Yeah, Rhinox hide. Doombo brown. I think I'll go Doombo brown. Because I like that much better. Let me get my Doombo Brown out here. That's where I'm gonna go with the with that stuff. Badoop, 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 badoop. I can do a full great train robbery battle. That I was kind of thinking of that too. You'd have to build it like the size of a table or something. Where's my Doombo Brown? There's my Ronox hide. I want to go that? I'm not sure yet. Where's the Dumbo Brown? I may not have brought it over yet. Dumbo Brown is kind of reddish color. This is dark. I don't know where my Dumbo Brown is. That's Light Belcher. Leather. That's lighter. That's army painter. I hope that's not it. My Doombo Brown may not be in here. Might be in the other cabinet. Could be down here. Yeah, I got more down here. I got paints just, I got this shelving piece next to me over here, and I got stuff just kind of scattered all over the damn place. There's the Doombo Brown. <clears throat> so I've got... Yeah, I was kind of thinking of that train robbery thing, too. It popped up in my head. You, know, you have the train, and you have them trying to come in. They're trying to capture the piece and the battle's going on. I'm trying to decide, do I want to go Rhinox Hide or Doombo Brown? I, I like the reddish. I like the reddish better. So I think I'll go with that. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Let's do some Doombo Brown. It's a reddish brown. And I'm just trying to get most of the base colors down. And then I'll go in and black line some of it to separate the pieces more. Let's see, what do I got going over here? Oh, it's still there. Oh, I'm almost at the end. Okay, time for something different on some music. Happy classic music, epic, best show rock ballads, 80s and 90s. Stop overthinking, three hours of metallic metal, melodic metal. This one's usually pretty good. Melodic death metal, 10 hours. Metal guitar stuff. It could be. You could probably do that white too. that more in the background there no vocals heavy metal I need to see well I know it's being painted brown so that's okay I know part of it
Now we'll find out how shaky my hands can be. By causing a traffic jam, it wastes more fuel than let them get on. Let's put just a drop of Doombo Brown in there. I'm going to look for my number one brush here. I could go... No, that's the fine touch brush. Where's my number one? Where's the number one? Should be that one right there. Is this one dirty? Did I forget to clean it again? This should be fine. Bom, 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 ba -da -da -dum. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in Athens. Okay. Let's get in here. I need these bottom straps are brown. I, no, I'm fine. Yeah, when I was with you guys last night, I was I was so out of it. I was tired. I was drinking my wine. Wasn't feeling all that well. But I got in and slept for about four hours before I had to wake up. And then I sat down and started watching the baseball game. And the bullpen was blowing it again, as always. Okay, I've got the belt right here. I'm trying to be a little more careful now. That's all right. That's where that's going to go anyways. Because this is all going to be the brown. Curly, I got a dip. That's what I'm... Oh, wait a minute. Have a good night, Steve. And Curly and I got a dip on out. Cheers. No problem. Thanks for coming by. You guys have a good evening. We'll catch you later when you're on. I keep an eye open for everybody. Try to get in and at least say hi, you know. Oh, this is coming out nice. This is looking pretty good. Not a problem. Take care, Curly Locks. We'll catch you guys on the flip. Probably could have added a little bit of water to this. I'll go add just a tad.
I'm going to be real careful. I don't want this getting underneath here. Let's see if I can get it straight in here. And this is going to be one of those. If I can't reach it, I'm not going to. I'm not going to mess with it. Just leave it the black. I'll admit, I'm definitely feeling a lot more comfortable now than when I first started on this. Not this piece, but when I first started painting. I wasn't sure where I wanted to go. I'm definitely feeling it now. Got a little bit of brown on there, but that's okay. I've got so much junk on his belt, it's just incredible. I probably put way too much stuff on there. You know, uh, well, I had the backpack on, so. That's right, I assembled this thing before. I didn't sub-assemble this one. Sub-assembly required. I'll come back to that in a minute. I need to get some fresh water. That's Daphne. I can tell when it's Daphne. She's got that weird howl.
which means everybody's starting to wake up. Today's Sunday, isn't it? That's Chew. You can tell her miserable bark. She hates it when we pay attention to one of the other dogs. The poor baby, she'd been so mistreated. They found her in a bush one night. Somebody had just dumped her off. Probably belonged to her litter. Just leave her out there. Just leave her out in the cold. Not care. And they were out walking the husky one night. And he was barking at her. She was scared to death. So they had animal control come over and they picked her up. And we realized she just needs some loving. Sometimes she wants too much loving though, but... Chewbacca. The little Chewbacca. Scooby Dooby Doo Scooby Dooby Doo The only problem with that is I did come over it a little bit more with the blue. I wasn't as careful with the blue as I probably should have been. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there to get that part of the strap. Get it up as close as I can. That looks like it's going to be a buckle or something. But I can't quite tell. I guess I can get in there.
Um, I missed something here. Hold on. Oh. Uh, if you have the crane, you do the claw rather than the hook. I already got train going. Oh, do you? Well, if you already have the crane, do the other one with the hook. Um, if you've already, if you already got the crane on there, sorry, I didn't see it right away. If you already have the crane on there, you could do a small hook, or if you had a second one, you could do the hook on the other one. Claw or hook? I do, I, I, I would probably go with the claw. One, because it's probably bigger. And then maybe, if, I think you said you could do a hook on it. It's a lot bigger. Yeah, I'd go with the bigger piece. Make it stand out. Is it going to let you attach anything to it? A small hook. Yeah, a small hook. Does it let you attach any of the boxes or anything? Oh, okay. I still go with the hook. I mean the claw. Sorry. See, there's just so many options on this stuff. I would want well, something of everything, you know? I'd want the crane. I'd want the hook. I'd want the gun turret. So I'd have one with the gun turret on it, the one with the hook on it. What well, would probably be really cool if you had... Uh, the cargo eight has got eight wheels. Yeah. Going through the dunes and everything. But if there was a way that you could, I mean, and here's what I was just thinking. You could have the main train up front, the engine up front. Little rails. And then you would have your cargo where you, you could have, one could be the claw. That'd be there with the box on top of it, and then the very last one be with the um, the gun turret, as if it's guarding the back. Yeah, but you see, I mean, engine, two cargo bays, three cargo bays, how whatever you wanted to put in there, with the gun turret at the back to protect the rear end of the train.
So if you went with three trains and a wheel frame that that got either takes the crane or a container, right? Minimum, I would say, if it, if it's possible, I don't know if it's possible or not. The engine or whatever the, the, the front piece is that would be pulling it. Uh, the cargo area only got one frame. Right. And I mean, and there again, it would come down to you'd have to go and buy more pieces to get everything in there. They put the gun to it. So you'd have at least three. To me, I would try to set it up if you wanted to look, if I wanted to look really cool have the front engine, whatever it is, the cargo, with either the cargo there or the crane, and then the gun turret in the back to protect the rear end of it. If it's possible. And there would be, right, and there would be another option instead of buying more pieces. Ah, shit, really? Do you see what I just did? God damn it. I just hit that with with brown. Crapola. Really? Wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Go on like eBay or something and see if you can find somebody who's tossing a Oh, I gotta run and a shop before it gets too crowded. Okay. I'll be here, you know that. I'll probably, let's see how long have I been on. Oh, I'm going on three hours anyways. I may hang it up here for a little bit. Because I'm getting hungry. Now, you, now everybody's got me going on Mad Max here. I'm going to bring up Mad Max and watch it a little bit before it gets too crowded. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit hungry anyways. So unless something comes up, I'll be back um, probably in about, uh, let's see, what is it, going on 11? Usually come back around 8, so look at 8, 9 hours, if not beforehand. So, and we'll work some more on these guys. I think he'll be fair, the other one will be fairly dry by then. And I got to get the camera out anyways, and I got to take some photos. But he looks like he's pretty much ready to go. To, uh, I got to do some touch-ups on. But now I got the arm pads on there. And I'll get those all done up. So, I'm pretty much going to call it for a little bit here. I need to take a short break. Uh, for a couple hours, turn on some Mad Max, watch that now that we're all in, into the mood for it, so, uh, thank everyone who stopped by, I thank everyone for stopping by, uh, if you just came in, I apologize, it seems like we're cutting short, I've been on three hours, uh, so I need to take a little rest here, um, but I will be back probably about eight hours or so. Maybe sooner, so just keep an eye out for me here. Uh, thank Curly Locks for the follow. Uh, 
and everybody who came in. So everybody have a happy, and we'll see you maybe in about six hours or so, and see what happens from there. Mm -mm -mm -mm.